Hello everyone, welcome to Photoneo Tutorials. I am Stanley, coder and trainer. Let's begin. In this episode of Beam Picking Studio Tutorials, we are going to learn how to properly set up gripper and pick object in following steps. Uploading CAD file, defining tool center point, handling symmetries and defining gripping points. To upload a CAD file, simply navigate to Gripper page, add a new gripper, then write down some descriptive name, for example, vacuum to 140 millimeters for or else, navigate to Browse button, insert a proper CAD file, and then hit the Save button. To know if you inserted the proper CAD file, you will look at the visualizer in here to check if the CAD file is right. If you have any problems, just navigate to Browse button again and select Other. To upload a workpiece, navigate to Pick Object page, then add a new object. Then write down some descriptive name, for example, plastic T fitting. In my case, navigate to a CAD file in your system, open up, hit the save button, just like with the gripper. In the visualizer, you can take a look and see whether you upload it wrong or the right CAD file. To insert multiple picked objects, navigate again to the picked object page, add new picked object, write down some other name, for example cylinder, in my case, navigate to a browse button, open up the right CAD, hit the save, in a couple of seconds you can see you have another workpiece added to the Beam Picking Studio. To define a tool center point, navigate back to the gripper page. If you have multiple grippers, scroll down and find your currently defined gripper. Select it. Then you, you may proceed to actions and edit. In which case you will edit a gripper, you just upload it. In tool point section, you have a visualizer and form fields for you to define a tool center point. Uh, you may use these arrows to approximately set up the tool center point, just like this, or you can select the right field and write down exact value from the teach pendant. In my case, it would be 184 millimeters. You can calibrate your tool beforehand in your robot and write down the values from the teach pendant in here. Don't forget to save and you are set with the two center point. Some grippers like magnetic gripper or Vacuum gripper do have an axis of symmetry. To handle axis of symmetry in Beam Picking Studio, you simply enable rotation invariance checkbox down here and navigate to the settings of the rotation invariance. Rotation invariance is important in order to use joint limits of the robot correctly and to avoid difficult poses of the robot. You can also change the axis of symmetry if the gripper design is different, like in this example, limit upper limit of the rotation, for example, to 180 degree, and also change the rotation number of steps. If your joint limits are too harsh, you may increase this number, for example, to 16 or 20. If your joint limits are loose, you may be good with lower number, for example, 8, 6 or different. Increasing number of steps 
will affect performance and the calculation will be a little bit slower. In the end you can visualize yourself what are the positions that will be calculated during the beam picking path planning. To set up a gripping point, simply navigate to the left menu, gripping points page, then select a workpiece from the menu here. In my case, it is plastic T fitting, which I'm going to set up and hit the add new gripping point button. In the visualizer on the right page, you see immediately the tool with the workpiece attached to it. In order to set up your gripping point correctly, you may use the sliding arrows or rotation rings, which will help you to set up your workpiece gripping point correctly. For rotations, feel free to rewrite the numbers. In my case, it will be exactly 90 degree. When your workpiece has axis of symmetry, just like the gripper, enable rotation invariance. Rotation invariance is exactly the same as for the gripper, so you will choose correct axis and then move the axis to the correct position and you may also use the arrows provided. If you are unsure what will be calculated, feel free to use the slider to visualize what is going to happen during the path planning. Repeat the steps for all workpieces you have in your solution. Alright, today we learned how to properly set up tool and the workpiece in our beam picking studio. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe and also watch our other tutorials. Goodbye.